What's up guys? So last time we talked about what prior weapons table was and how to use it. And today we're gonna to look at how to implement it to build a basic strength training program. Uh, so here we have prior weapons table in the top left corner and your most basic form of programming is going to be linear periodization. Uh, so basically what you'll be doing is you're rating uh, reps or weight against time. Uh, so as time passes each week that you perform a lift, uh, your total reps would increase by the same quantity week over week. Um, and essentially you can do that with weight as well. So as long as the either the total weight or the total reps are going up on an even quantity each week, uh, that is essentially your basic linear periodization. Um, so we're going to talk about some of the problems with that first. And... More than anything, you can't go up the same amount of weight or the same amount of reps every week forever. Uh, if that were the case, the people who could stay in the game the longest would be the strongest human beings. And that's not always the case, although it is relevant. Um, as Louis Simmons told us uh, when we met him when I was at Penn State, uh, your, your risk of injury is higher than, than if you were doing conjugate. And that's his belief, uh, and we're going to look at how to counter that. Um, and more than anything, it's, uh, it might not be as cool. So just squatting week in and week out um, may not be as cool as doing you know, some of the variation lifts and some of that stuff. All right. So the solution for, I guess, all of those things realistically is training in, in mesocycles, uh, which are typically six weeks long, um, or some people will call them blocks, uh, and that is block periodization. So... Let's take a look at some examples because you're all probably like, what the hell does that look like? Um, so as you can see, prior weapons table is back up in the left corner. Uh, so week one, you're starting at 70%. And 70% using the table tells us our, our range should be at about 24 reps. Uh, so 24, you know, we'll do four sets of six. Uh, week two, we would increase five pounds. Week three, increase five from that. Week four, increase five more, so on and so on. And by the time you hit the end of the chart, uh, you can see that you're up 25 pounds in six weeks. And I have that uh, written as, uh, what it comes out to is about 78% um, if you were to use the chart. So, but this is a linear fashion. And at, other than week one, you're not really using Prilep and Stable. You're just increasing, increasing, all right? So the parts where things get tricky is depending on where your max is, is going to depend on how many pounds a week you can add. So in this example, I use a 300 pound squatter or bencher, it's, a, it's relevant what the movement is. Um, but if you are a 100 pound bencher, you're not going to go up five pounds each week. You might go up one pound each week. Uh, and that's where, you know, uh, experience kind of comes into play with programming. Um, so you can see in week 7 through 12, I started at 80%, and the reason why is we finished at 78% on week 6, so we don't want to start at 75%, or maybe you would want to start at 75% to give yourself a little bit of a deload. Uh, again, that's where experience really comes into play with programming. Uh, so you can see I switched around the reps a little bit. 80% uh, puts us at a total of 20 reps, so we switch it over to a five sets of four, and so we have an increased... Uh, set volume but decreased rep volume uh, and each week we continue to go up five more pounds uh, so at the end of week 12 you're up around 87 percent or so uh, which is pretty good increases if you look at uh you know if you look at over 12 weeks of time uh and, and this would be very amateur um you know there's not too many experienced lifters that are able to run linear periodization this like this all right so next time we're going to talk about uh, picking rep schemes, uh, why I pick five sets of four instead of four sets of five, and et cetera, et cetera. Follow me on Instagram at the Sup Supplier, and uh, talk to you guys soon.